Hello my lovelies, it's Murky Meg here. Good morning Treacles, how are you? News flash alert, she's been spotted yet again. Now, it seems that she's been spotted out and about regularly now, as opposed to about a year ago. There seems to be an awful lot of pap photos, pictures of her in restaurants. There's even now a post up on social media of a friend of hers. Now I'm gonna be asking why. Why are we suddenly seeing an influx of Meghan Markle photos? Just casually being normal. <coughs> cough, cough, cough. Yeah, nothing about her is casual. Nothing about her is normal. Everything is contrived. Everything is manipulated, in my honest opinion. Now, as this video title suggests, I'm going to be talking about trouble in paradise. Now, that's one of two things. Their marriage, could that be in trouble? And also, their brand, that's definitely in trouble, we know that. For months now, rumours have been swirling that there is trouble in paradise and that their marriage is on the rocks. Now, Harry is going to be doing, apparently, a documentary in Africa. He's gonna go over there, solo, and find his roots back in Africa. She or the children, wherever they may be, are not going. This then set the media alight, saying that there was trouble in their marriage and that they needed time apart, that they needed to find themselves again. In my honest opinion, that's PR puff. It's trying to get them in the media, trying to get them being talked about. And it worked because, hey presto, worldwide coverage is the marriage in trouble. Many have come out saying that it's not the case, they're as solid as, as, solid as ever. Um, not so sure to be perfectly honest. I always believe where there's smoke there's fire. Now we've all seen the pictures of Harry in Asia. He actually looks quite happy to be perfectly honest. I've mentioned this in a previous video. He looks a chirpy chappy. And then that's one of the reasons why I suggested that she did a pap shot with regards to the new calm patch. That was my previous video. I've popped a link up in the right hand corner if you haven't already seen that. It's a good one. Two birds, one stone. She's merching and she's getting headlines away from Harry. She's got to, you know, kind of trump her husband, hasn't she? A couple of days ago, Dieu moi. I don't know, I never know how to say that. Dieu, Dieu moi. Dieu, from French to moi, meaning myself, me. So Dieu moi. Dieu moi. They go Dieu moi. That's why I'm running with that, okay? Dieu moi. Posted that Meghan Markle was looking incredible at Lucky's tonight in Santa Barbara. Now, Lucky's is a classic American steakhouse in Montecito. Here she is, look at the table. God knows where she is, but hey, she's not got a thick coat on. So, hmm. And she looks like she's sitting outside as well. Incidentally, a lucky salad will cost you $25. A filet mignon, 12 ounce, will cost you $99. So yeah, oh, bone ribeye, mm, yum. $125. So she's living it up in style. But as with the next photo I'm gonna show you, it didn't sit quite right with me. It doesn't look like recent photos of her. Now, I know she's lost a considerable amount of weight, but that looks like old Meghan Markle, doesn't it? Am I, am I, am I looking too much into this? It doesn't look like a recent photo of her. What do you guys think? Apparently, if we're led to believe that this is a recent photo of her, the person she's sitting with is a lady called Jill Smoller. Now, she is an American sports agent. She is best known as a long-term agent to Serena Williams, so there's the connection. If it is a recent photo, and this is Jill Smoller, why is Meghan Markle having a meeting with Jill Smoller? It's bizarre, isn't it? She's been photographed with Jill before. She was photographed with her at Serena Williams Tennis Open in New York. She was also in their Netflix reality TV program. She was one of the talking heads there, giving her opinion on all things Harry and Meghan. But more importantly, she was also there when Meghan was honored at the Ms. Foundation for Women. Remember that gala, the one with the gold dress? and then the now infamous car chase story afterwards. So it would seem this sports powerhouse is now in the inner circle of Meghan Markle. But you've got to ask why? What, what, what's the connection? Because we know that with Meghan Markle, she collects people, powerful people, because she likes to climb the ladder. It's been said many, 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 many times that she climbs the ladder and discards people when they are no longer useful to her. 
classic narcissistic behaviour. Now there is a rumour going around that there was a heated exchange at Lucky's restaurant with Jill. Now Jill also works for WME. She is the head of sports entertainment division at WME. Now apparently there was a little bit of a clash between Jill and Meghan Markle when WME failed to secure a brand deal for a prominent French sports brand. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it at all. I don't buy that there was a heated debate. I don't buy that she's trying to land a sports deal. I mean, come on, what sports deal would want Meghan Markle to be with them? She doesn't play sports, for goodness sake. What worldwide brand would want somebody that isn't affiliated with sports to be an ambassador? Nah, not buying it. So was this a recent photo? Well, last night, another photo popped up. Surprise, surprise. She's all in your face now. A photo was uploaded by her hairdresser, High Brow Hippie. Or as my dyslexic brain read that, High Bro Whippy. So she was photographed. Uh, High Brow Hippie uploaded a picture that says, belated birthday celebrations with these lovely muses. Now, apparently that is Katie Lee, the hairdresser, and author Chloe Wade. I've no idea who either of these people are, but one's a hairdresser, one is an artist, poet, and author of the forthcoming book, Heart Talk, Poetic Wisdom for a Better Life. Oh, it's so Meghan Markle, isn't it? Now, a lot of people are saying that this is also an old photo, but you've got to ask the question, why all of a sudden are these pictures popping up on social media when we haven't seen hide and a hair of her apart from arranged pap walks? There's been no real social media presence of Meghan Markle. Well, that's pure and simply because I reckon the TIG's coming back. There's been so many rumblings that the TIG's coming back. And I think this is her dipping her way into social media, allowing pictures to be taken. Because obviously she's permitted this to be taken if it's a recent photo. And I'm still dubious about that. Apparently it was taken at San Ysidro Ranch. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. And they say it was to celebrate with A-list pals. Yeah, they're not A-list. But what's interesting is she's not wearing her engagement ring again. Where's the engagement ring? We know that she had it restyled many years ago. Harry gave her this beautiful engagement ring. She wasn't happy with it. She got it redone. Who does that? I did a video way back when. If you want to watch it, I've linked it up in the top right hand corner. But she had it redone. And why is she not wearing her engagement ring? Seems really, really bizarre, doesn't it? So the fact that she is becoming very prominent on other people's social media posts, not wearing her wedding ring, leads everybody to spark the speculation that there's trouble in paradise. Whether there is or there isn't, it's working because she's getting the coverage. She knows full well that publicity is publicity, be it good or bad. If you get yourself in the magazines, in the newspapers, on the websites, being talked about on prominent social media gossip websites, you're winning, irrelevant whether they're good or bad. You're still being talked about. So I would like to know whether or not the TIG is coming back. There seems to be massive rumblings that it's coming back. And if it is, will this also cause tensions with Harry? Because will Meghan Markle want her children to be part of the TIG? I mean, it's a unique selling brand, isn't it? Royal children, you know, wheel out the uh, invisible kids for a bit of cash. And I don't think that's something that Harry will want to do. He, I believe, is the driving force of them having a private life. Harry wants a quiet life, Meghan Markle doesn't. And her being more prominent on social media is evident of this, I believe. I do find it funny is that we're seeing these photos on social media, but not one single photo of her attending the Taylor Swift concert. And I did a video on that. Again, link up in the right-hand corner. But apparently she went to see Barbie with pals, including Portia de Rossi, which is Ellen DeGeneres' wife, before spending the evening at the exclusive San Yido Ranch in the hills of Montecito. Where are the photos of that? Hmm, it's bizarre, isn't it? Also, who spends their birthday with the hairdresser? Mark my words, I'm gonna put a pin in this. This is all happening for the tick. All of this slowly coming onto social media, being allowed to be photographed with friends, <coughs> employees, just gently dipping her toe in. It's all 
content for the tick. Mark my words. But what are your thoughts on this? Are they old photos? Are they new photos? Why all of a sudden is she being more prominent on social media? So before I end this video, I've got a few super thanks to call out. So thank you, Lorraine Marie, Quake Girl NZ, Mia Maria Lil Ranco, Patty Ann, and Christy Rose. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your super thanks. And finally, I would love to know what you actually think is going on. Do you think there is truly trouble in paradise? And this is Meghan Markle trying to establish herself back again on social media just in time for the TIGS relaunch. Do you think that that is a sign that there is trouble in paradise and that everything isn't as what it seems with their marriage, with Harry looking so happy in Japan? Or do you think this is just purely PR yet again to get her in the uh, columns, in the magazines, in just being talked about basically? As always, I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me. It really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.